The end of the year is rushing up to meet us and with the new year comes a lot of new releases, which I'm really excited about and I thought I'd share with you some of my most anticipated releases of 2016. Now picking my most anticipated books was quite hard, so I narrowed it down to 12 books. So without further ado, let's jump straight in. Firstly, we have Passenger by Alexandra Bracken, the author of the Darkest Minds series. Now this one, I don't know too much about apart from the fact that there are pirates and there's time travel. So that has me completely sold straight off the bat. I'm intrigued. Truth Witch by Susan Dennett. This follows two best friends. One of them is a truth witch. They have the ability to detect truths from lies and her best friend is a thread witch and she's able to see the invisible ties that bind people together. Again, this one's also supposed to have pirates. Big tick for me, as well as dragons and monsters, and obviously having magic in and of itself, it sounds like a winner. Heartless by Marissa Meyer. This is a retelling and it's following Alice in Wonderland's Queen of Hearts before she became the evil queen that we know her as. If this is anything like the Lunar Chronicles in all of its beautifully written glory and the amazing and captivating characters, I will end up loving this one. I'm just so excited that Marissa Meyer is coming out with another series. Lady Helen and the Dark Days Club by Alison Goodman, the author of the Eon duology, which I loved. I did a review of the series if you're interested. So this one is supposed to be a Regency adventure set in 1800s London. And in this one, we have a demon hunter. I honestly do not need to know anymore. I want to dive straight into this one. Next, we have The Assassin's Heart by Sarah Ahares. I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce that name, but assassins in the title. I am sold. So Leah is a member of one of nine rival assassin families and she wakes up to find her family has all been killed and her house is burning. She has a relationship with one of the other rival family's sons and that is the family that she believes is responsible for the murder of her family. Oh my gosh, sounds like a lot of drama. I want this book. Speaking of assassins, Never Night by Jay Kristoff. Mia joins a school of assassins, but basically she is the daughter of an executed traitor, so obviously she wants revenge. And from what I can tell, she's able to speak to the shadows, which sounds very interesting and I want to know more. This Savage Song by Victoria Schwab. This one sounds super dark and gritty, being set in a city overrun by monsters that just kill people who haven't bought protection against them. And there are these specific monsters that use magic to steal their victims' souls. That sounds so fascinating. Rebel of the Sands by Alwyn Hamilton. So from what I can tell, we have a Ginny. We have a very mysterious and attractive foreigner. A mythical horse and a murderous sultan army. Sounds like there's a lot going on in this story with lots of magic in a desert setting. I'm really fascinated. And the cover of this one is stunning. The Glittering Court by Rochelle Mead. Adelaide is a countess, but she disguises herself as a maid, I believe, in order to escape an arranged marriage. And she ends up joining the Glittering Court, which is basically a school that turns impoverished girls into upper class ladies. And now moving on to some sequels, we have Illuminate number no. two by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. No cover, no title as of yet, but if you guys aren't aware of my love of Illuminae, I did a very incoherent review of the book. I loved it so much. I'm currently in the middle of rereading it via audiobook. Amazing, amazing. So obviously I want the sequel. And if it's anything like the first book, it will be full of action, conspiracy theories, epic space battles, and who knows what else more will be thrown in the mix. So. I'm getting me that book. Then we have Throne of Glass, book number five by Sarah J Mass. Again, I don't think we have a title of a cover of this one, but I'm really, really enjoying this series so far. It has twisted itself into such a complex being by this point with a fascinating array of characters and a crazy web of a plot that could seriously go in any direction from here on out. I just need to know what happens next. And we also have A Gathering of Shadows by Victoria Schwab, the sequel to A Darker Shade of Magic. Another wonderful fantasy book. What if you had the ability to jump between parallel worlds and you had this really cool coat with multiple sides, like you just keep turning it inside out and you have a different coat each time. It sounds really cool. Very cool indeed. And I'm looking forward to seeing what ends up happening in the sequel. There's a lot of world building done in the first one, so I'm looking forward so those are my most anticipated reads of 2016. I would love to know what your most anticipated read is for the year. Sounds like there's so many amazing books being released next year. My poor TBR pile. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, I would love to hear your thoughts down in the comment section below and I will see you guys next time with a new video. Bye!